Hi, this is Max from arbitragehero.com and this is the third video from my case study where I am trying to build uh, some income from my Amazon account which I have been using for quite some time. So uh, in the previous video I showed you how you can search for products using Arbitrage Hero and how I personally use it to find products with this software. Uh, in this video, I will show you what I do once I have shipped products uh, to Amazon. Uh, so since previous video, I have received my products and I have shipped them to Amazon. One thing what you can do with Arbitrage Hero is uh, you can use it to track uh, your profitability. And to do that, Arbitrage Hero needs to know the price for your products. And now I will quickly show you how you can add the cost for your products inside of Arbitrage Hero. There are currently two ways how you can do that. Uh, the first way is that you can search for products like I showed you in the previous video. And once you have found products which you like, what you can do is, once you have placed an order for this particular product, then you can use this uh, button which looks like a card with a plus sign. You can click on it and then you can simply add the date if you need to change it and you can save that purchase like that. And the price which you can see here will be used as a cost for that particular product. Another way how you can do it is you can go to your inventory, then go to purchases. And here you can use plus button to add products which you have bought. And if you want to add multiple products, then you can use add product in here. And this way you can add multiple products inside of Arbitrage Hero. So Arbitrage Hero knows the costs for your products. You don't have to add costs, but if you want to see and understand the rough idea of your profitability, then I strongly recommend you to do that. But the main thing what I always do is once I have received my products into Amazon, then I go to <coughs> inventory repricer and here I define repricing rules. Arbitrage Hero comes with uh, three basic repricers at the moment and we will be adding more repricers uh, quite soon. But what I have found is that most people, especially beginners, uh, who start using repricers, they kind of start participating in bidding wars by reducing their prices by a penny. I personally try to avoid doing that and this was the reason why I added only three basic repricers which wouldn't allow you to <coughs> participate in those bidding wars at the moment but you will be able to match prices based on buy box on the lowest FBA offer or on the lowest competitive offer and this way you can get better profitability. So what I normally do is I use lowest FBA offer and this is what I'm going to use for all the products in this case study and I set my minimum price to get at least 10% ROI on my investment for that product and the maximum price I normally set to get a maximum of 35% ROI on my investment. From my experience when you set those settings this way, then on average your profitability will be between 20 and 25 percent. Sometimes you will get slightly lower percentage, sometimes you will get higher percentage, but on average uh, <clears throat> you will be getting between 20 and 25 percent ROI for your products. And this is what I normally do. So to set the repricer, you select the type as I said, lowest FBA offer. 
and then you set your minimum price let's say nine and the maximum price let's say 15. once you have done it then you can press save and once you have saved your repricer then arbitrage here will start changing pricing to match lowest fba offer so this way i just set those repricers for my products and forget about them and then i can just focus on sourcing more products into amazon instead of manually changing prices and following and spending lots of time uh, monitoring my prices actually i was doing that at the beginning when i just started trading on amazon it is very tempting to do that but it is a complete waste of time so instead of doing that just set your repricing rules here and just forget about those i hope that you have enjoyed this video and in the next video i will show you the progress of on my sales and hopefully by next time i will be able to see some sales and as you remember my first goal and if you are a beginner you should set your first goal as to see first sales on amazon and this is what i have here so my first goal is to start seeing sales on amazon after i start seeing sales then i can set my next goal to have let's say 100 pounds day of sales on amazon thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe uh, to this channel and if you haven't watched my previous uh, case study videos then please watch them because the previous video will show you how to source products using arbitrage hero if you don't have arbitrage hero then you can get a free trial of 14 days uh, using link in the description and if you like it i will be happy to have you as a client thank you for watching again and i will see you in the next one thank you